Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Alice Wheezy with Wheezy Outdoors and you are back in my kitchen, imagine that. It has been a heck of a season so far for the walleye bite. Uh, we are getting into the dog days of summer but the skipper's still been on them. Um, I'm here to share another recipe. This one's super easy, you can do it anywhere. You can do it in your home, uh, over the campfire, camping trips, anything. The reason why we like this is because it is that simple and everybody loves it. Now, for those of you that know me, know that I was raised between Alaska and Minnesota. So fish, I eat it. Seafood, love it. And the one thing I love about fish is it is so versatile. You can literally do anything. You can have fish 365 days a year and not have the same recipe twice. This is one of our new favorite recipes. Talked to me actually by our good friend, Jeff Sundin. Uh, many of you read his fishing reports. So with that, this is all you need. Two ingredients, blackened seasoning and some good oil. Um, you can use any blackened seasoning of your choice. We picked this stuff up locally from a local meat market, Emily Meats, right there in Emily, Minnesota, just about 20 miles south of us. What you do is you just take a gallon plastic bag, measure the blackened seasoning in to your taste. Uh, some might be a little bit more sensitive and duck, dump enough um, oil in there, just enough to coat the fish. Behind me, I already got some cleaned and prepped walleye. All I'm gonna do, simply throw a couple fillets at a time in the bag. How many should I do? Do them all. Do them all? So after you have your fillets in the bag, you're gonna give it a nice, good coat, good shake. And you're gonna let it rest. About 10, 15 minutes shouldn't take any longer than that. In the meantime, over here I got my cast iron pan on the stove, getting hot. I'm not gonna add any additional oil to this because we are gonna just quick sear these walleye fillets. No more additional oil, the oil's already on the fish. We'll get the pan hot and check out what's next. All right, so we got the pan nice and hot. And all we're simply gonna do is lay the flesh right on there and hear that good sizzle go on. Oops, I'm making a mess. Don't tell Justin. I'm standing right here. About <laughs> two seconds on each side. You want me to do the rest? What? No. All right, so since our pan was already hot, we already have oil on the fish. These aren't gonna take long at all. Um, literally just uh, less than a minute on each side. Of course, the thicker portions. But that's all you're gonna do is once they get nice and seared on one side, go ahead, flip those bad boys on over. And give them just about a minute or two on the other. You just want to toss them, flip them each couple couple more times just to get that nice charring on both sides. These are looking good and let me tell you, they smell even better. Look at these nice fatty wallers. Not only is fish good, and there's so many different ways you can cook it, it's also good for you. All those healthy fatty oils and fatty omega-3s. Just like that. We're gonna pop these ones on a hot plate. Stick them in the oven, keep warm, as we keep rolling with our other fillets on our sides. If you guys like what you're seeing, 
like these recipes, want to try this recipe, maybe you already have, click subscribe, leave us a comment, what do you think about it, and we got more videos coming at you all season long. See what you're facing out there, guys. Might be pretty good. <laughs> good job, buddy. Said fall and crappie. Say. Nailed it. Yeah. Bye, guys. Guys, we're gonna keep more videos coming at you and who knows what's gonna be on them. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, like and share if you guys like what you're seeing. Other, until then, guys, take care and we'll see you out there.